Welcome here to Cheesehead Nation, your home to Packers football. Today we're going to have all four preseason games, so we're going to get right into it here. And the Philadelphia Eagles are going to be taking on the Packers at Lambeau Field here in game one of the preseason. So moving into the first quarter, Carson Wentz looks, fires, and tries to find to his receiver there on the right-hand side, but it was incomplete. Second and ten, and again overthrows his receiver on the right-hand side. Now it's third and ten, Carson Wentz. Steps back, looks, and fires to Luke Wilson, but that would be dropped for an incompletion. The Packers would have to settle for the field goal. Justin Tucker kicks the field goal through the uprights, and it will make it a 3-0 Green Bay game. Now later into the first quarter, hand off to Hightower. Hightower mows over a defender, and Tim Hightower will take it all the way. Touchdown, Packers, just like that. And now the Packers will have a 10 to three lead over the Philadelphia Eagles and Lemmy Tire, Tim Hightower is a player to watch here for the Packers. Now moving into the second quarter, Fitzpatrick now onto the field, overthrows his receiver in the middle of the field. Second strings getting their chance here in the game. Second and 10 now to the right hand side of Anderson and Anderson would be injured on the play but he would be able to return later in the game which is a good news for the Packers. Now second and two now on the 21. Fitzpatrick steps back, looks, and fires the Harris, but that would be overthrown as that would be incomplete and we would have to settle for another field goal to make it a 13-7 Green Bay lead. Now later in the second quarter, Fitzpatrick looking for a receiver and finds Anderson there on the right hand side. He connects for a first and goal on the one. Next play, handoff to Tim Anderson and he had nowhere to go as he would be stopped there. Sorry, Tim Hightower, I meant. Second and goal now. Over the middle to his receiver, Anderson. And after getting injured earlier, he will score the touchdown. First reception TD of his career here in the preseason as a Packer. Now moving into the third quarter. And this one's picked off by Chris Harris Jr. Cody Kessler of the Philadelphia Eagles would throw the pick. And Chris Harris Jr., our first down pick, would get that interception. Moving into the fourth quarter now, Fitzpatrick and the Packers have the football, throws the Dachshund there on the right hand side, the tight end and touchdown, Packers just like that and we grow the lead, it's now 33-13 later into the fourth quarter, Kessler now has the ball, the Eagles throw to Escobar there, the tight end and touchdown, Eagles as he dives into the end zone and that would be the last play of the game as the Packers will win the game 33-20 to beating the Eagles big here and I mean this is one of the best games to kick off the preseason so without further ado let's get right in to game number two so going into week number two of the preseason the Packers are going to Washington FedEx Beard to take on the Washington Redskins so let's get right into it Packers are in their red zone first and ten Carson Wentz looks looks and he gets sacked by number 27 of the Redskins defense, Peppers will get back there. Second and 22 now, Carson Wentz to Tavon Austin, and Tavon Austin would drop the pass and complete. Third and 22 now, Carson Wentz steps back, finds Tavon Austin in the middle of the field, but he would drop it again. So the Green Bay Packers would have to kick another field goal. Justin Tucker kicks it through the uprights to make it 3-0 Green Bay. Now moving into the second quarter. Carson Wentz hands off the Bell and Bells fumbles the football and Bells preseason has not been great for the Packers so far. Third and four now. Later in the drive, later in the game, second quarter, 5-4 left the play and he finds Matthews. Carson Wentz to Matthews after he rolls out to his right. Next play, Bell will just dive into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. And Green Bay will have some life to make it 10 to 3. Now, later in the second quarter, 153 left to play. Carson Wentz had all the time in the world, throws deep, trying to find Tavon Austin, but it would be incomplete. Now, second and 10, Carson Wentz would step back, looking, fires to Macklin, Jeremy Macklin on the left hand side. You can kiss him goodbye. The 10, the 5, touchdown, Packers. And the Packers would go up just like that, 17 to 3 on the Redskins. Now moving into the third quarter. First and ten, Redskins have the ball. Dunbar handoff will shake a defender off. I don't know what our other defender was doing and he would go right in the end zone. Touchdown Redskins to cut into this lead to make it a 16-15 game. Next drive for the Redskins. He, Tolson would step back, looks and finds 
a middle linebacker for the pick. And he will take it all the way to the 40-yard line. What a pick from our middle linebacker there. As he will give the Packers a good field position for their next drive. Now, later in the game, 7 seconds left. The Redskins have the ball. He has all the time in the world. He can eat subs all day. He can have a buffet of wide receivers for him. As Hardy would find it in the end zone. But a flag was on the play. Holding from the Redskins offensive lineman number 75. And that's going to do it in this one. We're going to move right in the game. Number 3 as the Packers win 22-15 to in this one. Moving into week number 3. The Packers went to Denver to take on the Denver Broncos at Mile High Stadium. Let's get right into it as this one was a good one. One minute left to play here in the first quarter. Hand off the bell. And that would be stopped at the 12 yard line. Nice decent carry. Two yards there. Second and eight now. Wentz steps back. Looks. Rolls to his right. Finds Wilson there on the right hand side. His tight end to the seven yard line for a third and three. Now with one second left here in the first quarter. Wentz would step back. Rolls to his right and finds Tavon Austin. But he would drop the pass. Incomplete. The uh, Packers would have to kick the field goal. Justin Tucker through the uprights. 3-0 Green Bay. Second quarter now. Second and six for the Green Bay Packers. 2.24 left to play. Austin there found on the left-hand side for the first down on the 11-yard line. Next play, first and 10. Carson Wentz steps back, looks. Halfback screen, the bell. Bell will run. He's looking, dives into the end zone. No, stopped at the one by the Broncos defense. Next, first and goal. Hands off the bell, and Bell will just run it in for a Packers touchdown as the Packers would go up 10-3 on the Denver Broncos. Now, moving into the fourth quarter. First and goal. Broncos have the ball, and our defense would stop the run game there as they would stop them on the two-yard line. Second and goal now. Webb would step back. Looks, looks, looks. Fires to Stort there in the middle of the field, but he drops the pass incomplete. Third and goal now, coming up for the Broncos. Hands off to the fullback, and a big stop from the Packers. What a stop from the Packers' defense, as the Broncos would have to kick the field goal to make it a 16-9 game, and that would be it for the game, as the Packers would win 16-9, defeating the Denver Broncos here in this one. This was a good game. But without further ado, we'll head to game number four. As we go into week number four, we head home to Lambeau Field to take on the Los Angeles Rams. Uh, this one was a pretty good one, so let's get right to it. Going into the first quarter, Rams have the football on their 24th. Second and 10, hand off the West, and West would take this all the way to the 15-yard line for a third and one. Now on the third and one, hand off to West again. No, PA pass, Hicks! Hakeem Hicks in the backfield for the sack. His first tackle of the game, first sack of the game. Big sack from the Packers as they would have to settle for a field goal. The Rams would kick it through the uprights to make it a 3-0 Rams lead. Now moving into the second quarter, Ryan Fitzpatrick has the ball in the Packers. Third and six, halfback screen, the high tower there on the right-hand side. He will pick up the first down on the 15, first and 10 Packers. Next play, Gerald setback, looks, fires, and finds Dawson. There in the middle of the field for a Packers touchdown to make it a 7-3 game over the Los Angeles Rams. Now later in the second quarter, Moore would find the receiver there on the left-hand side. And that would be a second and four coming up. Now Moore would step back, looks, and hands it off to the running back as Mick Landon would cause the fumble. What a fumble there. What a hit there from our defensive guy there. Now it's third and nine. Moore would step back. Looking, looking, looking. Has all the time in the world. And finally, number 54, Martin, would get the sack there. As that would be a big play. As the Rams would have to settle for a field goal to make it 6-7. to seven, Green Bay. And it's a one-score game. Next play. Moving into the third quarter. The Rams had the ball again. 130 left the play. Moore steps back in another sack. From the defensive tackle there, number 51 from the Green Bay Packers. As now it's second and goal on the 14th. Finds Cup there on the left-hand side. And that would be a third and goal coming up on the 5. Now Moore would step back. Looking, 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 looking. And finally sacked again by Taylor there. Our defensive middle linebacker as they would have to kick the field goal. And that would make it 12-7. 
Los Angeles Rams, and that would actually be the score of the game. The Los Angeles Rams would win the game 12 to 7. Green Bay Packles, Packers, sorry, loses the game here. So we went three and one here in preseason. Not bad, not bad at all. I have high hopes going into the season that we could do very well and even make the playoffs. I mean, because the, the team showed very well here in the preseason. Uh, hopefully we can take that into the regular season and get wins and make the playoffs and hopefully win the division. But let's look at your standout players of the preseason. So let's look at the offensive side of the football first. And Tim Hightower, running back, is your player of the preseason for the offensive side of the football. Let's look at his stats. Attempts this uh, preseason, 36 yards, 193. Now, Le'Veon Bell at 121. I know he had lesser carries, but still, 193 yards. That's a big, big difference. Um, average per game, 48.3. And I think this is the best stat to compare the two. Bell, 30.3. I mean, that, that's a stat that I think Tim Hightower really won over. And then TDs, he had one TD. Uh, Bell had two TDs. But I think this guy, he played phenomenal in the preseason. So let's look at your defensive side of the football. Max Berlew, linebacker, um, solo tackle 17, uh, assisted tackle 6, uh, tackles in total 23, tackles for loss 1. And in the big stat, one interception. I mean, this guy, he really played very well here in the preseason for the Packers. So he's your preseason star for the defense. So, yeah, that's going to do it here on Cheesehead Nation. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget that like button. Hit that subscribe button for more uh, Packers football here on TJG Sports. In the next episode, we will be recapping week number one of the regular season. So hope to see you guys then. When you thinking, damn, what is this? That's us. Make it speak as band when it hits like what? Give it some jams with that west side stuff. Everybody hands in the air straight up. Put them to the sky so high now jump. Do something crazy when that baseline bump. We just getting started with that beat.